Kangaroos. These incredible creatures with their powerful legs and big bouncy tails are a true icon of Australia. They are the world's largest marsupials, meaning the mothers carry their young in a pouch. Kangaroos have fascinated people around the world for generations, and it's no wonder why. Their unique look and intriguing behaviors make them endlessly interesting. Imagine a large kangaroo, standing taller than a human, bounding across the landscape in giant leaps. It's a sight that truly captures the spirit of the Australian outback, but kangaroos are more than just a pretty face or pouch. They are vital members of their ecosystem, playing a key role in maintaining the balance of nature. Their grazing habits, their interactions with other animals, and even their droppings all contribute to the health of their environment. So let's hop into the world of kangaroos and discover what makes these animals so special. From their dusty outback homes to their incredible adaptations for survival, there's much to learn about these fascinating creatures. When we think of kangaroos, we often picture them in the vast, red earth landscapes of the Australian outback. And it's true, many kangaroos do call these arid regions home. They are well suited to life in dry, open grasslands and woodlands, where they can be found grazing on grasses and shrubs. However, kangaroos are surprisingly adaptable creatures, and their range extends far beyond the outback. Different species of kangaroos have made their homes in a variety of habitats across Australia, from the cooler climates of Tasmania and the southeastern coast to the tropical north. Some kangaroos even live in forests and mountainous areas. The key is finding areas with enough vegetation to support their diet and open spaces for hopping and grazing. No matter where they live though, all kangaroos need access to water, which can be scarce in the Australian climate. Kangaroos are herbivores, meaning they get their energy from plants. Their diet consists mainly of grasses, leaves and shrubs. They have specialized digestive systems that allow them to break down the tough fibers found in these plants, extracting as much nutrition as possible. Like cows, kangaroos have a multi-chambered stomach that houses bacteria and other microorganisms. These tiny helpers ferment the plant material, making it easier to digest. Kangaroos are also known to regurgitate their food and rechew it, much like cows do with their cud. This process, called rumination, helps to further break down the plant fibers and extract even more nutrients. While grasses make up the bulk of their diet, kangaroos will also eat other plants, depending on what's available in their environment. This adaptability is one of the reasons kangaroos have been so successful in colonizing such a wide range of habitats across Australia. Kangaroos play a vital role in the delicate balance of the Australian ecosystem. As large herbivores, they are key grazers, influencing the growth and diversity of plant life. Their grazing habits help to control the growth of grasses and shrubs, preventing any one species from dominating the landscape. This, in turn, supports a wider variety of plant life, creating a more diverse and resilient ecosystem. But their impact goes beyond just eating plants. Kangaroo droppings, or scats, act as natural fertilizers, returning nutrients to the soil and promoting healthy plant growth. These droppings also provide food and habitat for insects and other invertebrates, which form the base of the food chain. Kangaroos themselves are a food source for some of Australia's top predators, including dingoes and crocodiles. By keeping kangaroo populations in check, these predators play a crucial role in maintaining the overall health of the ecosystem. Section 5. Built for the Bounce Amazing Kangaroo Adaptations Kangaroos are masters of their environment thanks to a suite of amazing adaptations that allow them to thrive in Australia's challenging conditions. Their most iconic feature, of course, is their powerful hind legs and large feet which are perfectly designed for hopping. This unique mode of locomotion is surprisingly efficient, allowing kangaroos to cover vast distances at speed while conserving energy. Their long, muscular tails act as a counterbalance, providing stability and control as they hop, but their adaptations go beyond just hopping. Kangaroos have excellent hearing and a wide field of vision, which helps them detect predators from afar. Their fur, which varies in color depending on the species and region, provides insulation from both the heat and cold. 
and their ability to conserve water by producing concentrated urine and sweating very little is crucial for survival in arid environments. These adaptations, combined with their flexible diet and social behaviour, have allowed kangaroos to thrive in a wide range of habitats across Australia. Section 6. Pouch Life. Raising a Joey. One of the most fascinating things about kangaroos is their unique method of reproduction and raising young. As marsupials, female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly where they nurture their developing offspring. After a short gestation period of around 30 days, a baby kangaroo called a joey is born incredibly small and underdeveloped, about the size of a jelly bean. Blind and hairless, the tiny joey instinctively crawls into its mother's pouch and attaches itself to a teat. Inside the pouch, the joey is protected, kept warm, and provided with all the nourishment it needs to grow and develop. The joey will stay in the pouch for several months, gradually growing larger and stronger. Even after it starts to venture outside the pouch, a joey will continue to return for milk and protection for several more months. This long period of maternal care ensures the joey has the best chance of survival in the challenging Australian environment. Section 7. Living in Groups Kangaroo Society Kangaroos are social animals living in groups called mobs. These mobs can range in size from a few individuals to over a hundred depending on the species and the availability of food and water. Living in groups offers several advantages for kangaroos. It provides safety in numbers as more eyes and ears mean a better chance of spotting predators. Mobs also offer social interaction and support, particularly for females and their young. Within a mob, there is a loose social hierarchy with dominant males competing for access to females. These competitions often involve displays of strength, such as pawing the ground, scratching and even boxing with their forelegs. While these displays can look aggressive, they're usually harmless, with the loser simply backing down to avoid a real fight. By living in groups and establishing social hierarchies, kangaroos can better utilise resources, protect themselves and ensure the survival of their young. Section 8. Kangaroos and Humans – A Complex Relationship Kangaroos have long been an integral part of Australian culture and identity. Aboriginal Australians have coexisted with kangaroos for tens of thousands of years, respecting them as a vital part of the land and a source of food and resources. Today, kangaroos remain an important symbol of Australia, appearing on the national coat of arms and inspiring countless works of art, literature and film. However, the relationship between kangaroos and humans is complex and not without its challenges. As human populations have grown and expanded into kangaroo habitats, conflicts have arisen over land use and competition for resources. Kangaroos are sometimes viewed as pests, particularly by farmers whose crops they may graze on. Car collisions with kangaroos are also a concern in some areas. Finding a balance between the needs of humans and the conservation of these iconic animals is an ongoing challenge that requires careful management and understanding. Section 9. Hopping into the future, conservation and hope. Despite the challenges, there is hope for the future of kangaroos. Many Australians recognise the importance of conserving these unique and iconic animals for future generations. Conservation efforts focus on protecting kangaroo habitats, managing populations sustainably and reducing human-wildlife conflicts. National parks and reserves provide safe havens for kangaroos, while research and monitoring programs help us better understand their behaviour, ecology and the threats they face. Public education is also crucial in fostering appreciation and respect for kangaroos and their role in the ecosystem. By learning about these amazing creatures, understanding the challenges they face and supporting conservation efforts, we can help ensure that kangaroos continue to hop across the Australian landscape for many years to come. Remember, even small actions like driving carefully in kangaroo habitats and supporting organisations that protect wildlife can make a difference in their future.